Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Kung Fu Report, where we talk about classical Kung Fu's application. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the spear work, even though I didn't bring a spear, and how we can actually help enhance the power of the empty hands. See you when we get back. Chris, sir, please come in. So in the last episode, or the episode before I can't remember, step back for a second, Chris, please. We talked about shaking the pole, right, from the each one, and how that can help your short power for empty hand, such as if Chris punches, right? And if Gary throws a hook, instead of using a big, maybe you throw that one, the camera can see it better. Instead of having my hand do a big movement, even by moving just like this, there will be enough power. Hit harder. Okay, and that idea, how did I get power from here to here, was simply from the pole shaking, right? And what I want to say today is, this will actually help other techniques too. Like for example, if I'm in that trapping thing, right? And I'm here doing this kind of work, or maybe I'm here, take a again, and I'm doing this kind of work, I might not get enough power in the splitting, like in the Xing Yi, or in the Jun Kri, in the water fist, right? In that case, if you look at basic spear exercise, and I didn't bring a spear today, but a pole is good enough, we might do this kind of really basic work with the spear, this exercise, right? Now if you break this exercise down from here to here, this pumping action is the water fix. So, Chris, say if Chris blocks from here, this idea is what I did with the spear, right? And then if you look at the second part of the exercise, from here to here, this idea here, that is splitting. So, Kashini came from spear fighting. So by using the pole now, instead of looking at his arm, like I'm grabbing an arm, right? If I start looking at it like I'm grabbing a spear, then I'm gonna get a lot more power. Same thing as, instead of dragging his arm down, and think of it like I'm dragging an arm, if I've been doing that pumping exercise going this way, then it would help my hands get more power, right? So anytime you grab the guy's arm, you start thinking of it like you're grabbing a spear. And when you're pumping with the whole legs here, anytime you don't have enough power, you go back to spear work. That will help you every time you trap, except you do whatever you want. His arm becomes, or if he swings, and then he blocks, his arm will become very, very light, even though he's a big man. Not because he's weak or I'm strong, but because of the pull that you're used to using the entire body when you're hitting. So, instead of trapping, if the guy hits, that becomes the pull. So when you drag it, it becomes very light, right? Or if you punch it straight, it's the same thing. That becomes the pull. So anytime that you touch something, when you grab the pull, it's not just about the pulling action, but also the stabbing action. So when you hit, here is not just the grabbing action, but also the stabbing action. When you put the two together, it shakes the spine, right? So he hits. So now he feels lighter than me. If he blocks or something, he feels lighter than me. Okay? So anyway, we'll talk about this a bit more when we get back. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed today's short demo. If you're actually interested in being able to do this, uh, you can go into the website and we release the course on a six and a half point pull in a full immersion program. All right, but before I go, I wanna say one more thing. This idea of using a pole to better your short power is actually a very old idea. Like I said, Xing Yi, for example, actually came from spear fighting, right? But Wing Chun also had the six and a half point pole, and many, many style has the long pole. The long pole has a way of teaching you how to do short power, simply because of the nature of the pole is very long and heavy, not allowing you to do big twirly movements, right? So I think, you know, because a lot of times in Kung Fu, in modern times, people say, hey, I don't want to train with classical long weapons. Because we're not on horses anymore, we're not on boats anymore, and it's not practical for me to carry these big instruments or weapons around. I'm going to respectfully disagree because when you actually train with these classical weapons, at least for me and my students, I noticed through the years, it actually makes your empty hand a lot more powerful in terms of short power. 
I used a few angles today and a couple of angles last episode, but in reality, there's many, many, many more ways of training with this. And like I said, if you're interested, you can join our courses on our website. But even if you don't, even if you just, you know, do another Kung Fu system, please do not uh, neglect what the ancestor has provided us to help us get better with the classical weapons. I think you will really benefit from classical weapon training. All right, guys, train on and stay safe. See you next time.